Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's colouring chat day. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this is uh, an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and in no way, shape or form meant for or made for children in mind. So, first of all, welcome to all my new subscribers that I've had over the last few days. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy to have you here. And welcome back to everybody who um, has been here for a while. So, somebody asked that we colour the skater in this book, uh, Chibi Girls Volume 2. So, we're going to do that one. So, here we are. So, I'm going to get some paper and pop it behind before I forget, because, you know, I'm that dim sometimes. And, uh, yours. Oh, we're gonna just colour it in. It's not gonna be a huge amount because that's gonna be ice, so it'd be sort of a grey colour, I guess. So let's get us started. So how is everybody? Are you all alright? How's it going wherever you are in the world? We're fine here. Um yeah, everything's going well. Very, very yeah, it's all good. We're, uh, Wales is out of lockdown now. We, obviously, we've still got some restrictions, you know, social distancing and only so many people can meet at any one time. But all non-essential shops can now reopen. Pubs and restaurants have reopened. Um, and so on. It reminds me I've got to check to see if we're booked in on the weekend for the Prince of Wales or not because we were supposed to be booked in for the week we went in and the Sunday after we went in obviously it was cancelled so I'll need to message the owner later. So that's all good. Jennifer's fine. She's sound asleep at the moment and uh, yeah it's all good. So got a new first impressions coming for you soon. I'm still working on the Arteza pencil one um, and obviously you saw in my haul we've got the watercolours as well and it's not that one it is the something else. <laughs> I got something else and I'm working on that one and uh, yeah so you know We'll see how it goes but yeah everything's okay I'm fine working back at work now I was ill at the end of last week I wasn't very well um, but yeah I'm fine now Paul's not been well the last few days he's had what I've had so yeah poor guy but we're, we're fine Jennifer's healthy that's the main thing and she's happy because she can go and see Nana and Grandad now but yeah I still haven't really done much eBay. Um, just, I'm just not. I'm trying to uh, sort out my colouring supplies and get it all organised properly so that the room's tidy. Because I had stuff everywhere this morning. I've had a bit of a tidy up now and it's uh, all been put away properly now. Except for the stuff I'm using at the moment, obviously, because I need it. But as soon as I've uh, finished with that, it'll be going away. So. I like ice skating. I always used to go ice skating um, on a Sunday morning. My dad used to take me to Cardiff Ice Rink when it was in the centre. And I used to go ice skating and... Yeah, for the morning. Really enjoyed it. And when I was younger I went horse riding as well. So that's, that was my uh, entire sports thing, you know. So we will use some glitter pens on this because obviously these lovely ice dancers have lots of sparkles on their dresses um, so we will definitely be using some glitter on it and uh, yeah so I, I like I, I do like these books so I'm glad to be colouring in something that's not Jade Summer. All the pictures I've finished so far in November have been in Jade Summer books, mostly patterns. Um, but yeah, it's just just what I've been colouring. I've been in a, a patterny mood, so that's what I have uh, been doing. So <laughs> yeah, it's all fun though. Oh, 
yeah it's all been jade summer this month so far uh, mainly because I had a few to finish off um, after the uh, thing so that's why so. So. I'll give her a nice pink outfit So yeah, just going to try and decide what to do this weekend. We usually go and see Paul's mum, which is fine. I'm happy to do that. She's nice. Um, gets us out of the house. Because she's on her own, so... Go for a walk somewhere, probably. And, uh... Yeah. I'll do the faces in the crowd a bit later. There's a few of those. So I've been reading a bit and I intend to do some reading tonight once I've coloured. Um, I'm going to be reading a book called The Princes in the Tower, which is about um, Richard III's nephews, the boys, who some people say he murdered, but nobody knows 100% for sure. So it should be very interesting. Um, so look and see what this person's written who's a bit of an expert on uh, Richard and I was writing a biography on him a few years ago I don't know, I'm assuming it's out now but I, I don't know, I've got to be honest so fascinating I love watching anything history related I have to be in the mood for it but reading, I'm always in the mood to read something historical um, non-fiction and fiction, I am rereading The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett. I'm also working my way through the complete Secret Notebooks of Agatha Christie. It's a huge book, I only read a little bit at a time, so. Yeah, is it getting cold and horrible and the weather's not good? It's nice to read something that's a little bit of a guilty pleasure. Well, not guilty pleasure, Terry Pratchett's classic fantasy now um you know it's comfort is what i'm trying to say it's a comfort book so yeah comfort book would be nice and uh yeah the main thing is that uh it's getting cold and uh winter is coming i mean where we are we very rarely have snow and normally they'd wear white ice skates shall i do them pink or shall i leave them white it's just gonna be an awful lot of white with the ice i'm gonna do them pink why not they're usually um flesh colored or white but do you know what i'm gonna be a bit different because it's my picture <laughs> and that's what I want to do I was lucky enough once to see uh, go to the Europeans when it was in Sheffield a few years ago with uh, somebody who runs a figure skating forum on the internet which is cool met some lovely people we had a nice nice long weekend dress them and her outfit. I think I'll get the beige out again and do all the um, faces in the crowd. Um, i use this one. So, 
So we've been watching this thing called Darklands, which is um, true crime, and it's about um, so many cases of, of unsolved murders in Wales. Apparently there's over 100 unsolved murder cases in Wales at the moment, dating back a good while. And um, each episode focuses on one of these crimes, and they see if they can find a suspect for the crime which they do and they put it forward then evidence to the South Wales Police. Now in all three episodes that I've watched so far the the perpetrator or alleged perpetrator, the suspect, is is deceased anyway but it's still trying to find closure for the families. So very very interesting. The last two were about young girls, one was six and one was twelve. Um, two separate episodes and it was, oh I couldn't watch any more after that because you know Horrific. I don't understand it, how anybody could kill somebody, but that's just me. Um, and yeah, it was f absolutely fascinating. So, hmm. It's sad, though, that these crimes were never solved, and these poor girls who had such bright lives ahead of them had them so, so cruelly snatched away by somebody. But, uh, there you go. Sad, but it uh, is what it is and we have to... Yes, uh, I'm just trying to think now what to do next. Um, I have to do her hair. for this sort of browny red colour like sienna brown and cinnamon or something like that. That's actually a nice colour for hair. Of course all the other girls will have different coloured hairs. So I've gone over her face a bit there. Whoopsie do. I mean it could just be a strand of hair. What I'll do is in a bit I'll get the um glitter pens out. Because it's ice I will probably use uh, my Winker Stella on the ice rink part to get it. Looking right. So people say they've been watching the whole of these long videos when I've been doing um, like over an hour, which is great. I mean, I can still do them. I don't mind if I've got time. Sometimes I might not. And if it's a pencil one, I'll probably try and stick to around 40 to 50 minutes. But um, with these ones, it you know, you can do it all in one go because it, it, we're using markers and it's not over taxing. If I'm going to be doing pencils on the top, then, yeah, I might have to... Uh, do a separate video but if it's just going to be a straight colour or it's a grayscale book it's not so bad. I really hope we have some snow this winter. Of course that could mean next January, February, March time which is fine. Um, you had it last significantly in the area February 2018. I know that was just after Jennifer was born, but she was obviously she was only a month old, if that, not even that. So she was far too young to know what snow was, and she, we just stayed in. Um, I did take some footage of it and put it on the channel because it's so rare to get it like that. Previously, it was something like 2010 that we had. Sorry, I can't even see what I'm doing. Um, snow that was deep enough to do that. Or maybe a bit later than that, I'm not sure. So it's a very rare occurrence, so I'd like Jennifer to see it and to see what it was like when it's um, snowy. See what she makes of it, it'd be interesting. So fireworks, bonfire night, uh, what we call bonfire night, or Guy Fawkes night was last week and um, again Jennifer's been too young for that but this year she could hear the fireworks going off 
outside and she was like, what's that? And I'm saying, it's fireworks, you know, like on Bing. It was the first episode of Bing, he's watching a fireworks display from his house. And she went, oh. So she wanted to go and have a look. So I opened up the back door and you could see the fireworks going off and they were quite overhead and it was really loud. So she was a bit scared at first and she hid behind my legs, which is fine. And then she sort of got used to it and we went outside and I lifted her up on my shoulder so she could see the Catherine wheel a few gardens over. <laughs> Cheapskate I am. I'm not a big fireworks fan. I, I don't want them in my garden particularly. But next year, if there is a paid display locally, we will take Jennifer to a display. Um, but uh, we, sat, we stood there for like 10-15 minutes watching the fireworks going off. It was lovely. She, like I said, she was a bit nervous at first, a bit scared of them. But then she got used to them and she was fine. Which is good. She's been watching Waffle again. And she's got a thing about Peppa Pig now. Ugh. I'm not a big Peppa Pig fan. It's just one of those ones I'm not keen on. It's all right, but... Yeah. But she's enjoying it. It's okay. It's just when she wants to sit and watch it all day long. Or it's not on. And because it's not on like one of the normal channels, you can't do it. I'm not paying for it. So far, so good. So, yeah. But we'll have... Um, yeah, she was all right with the fireworks. I'm hoping we have some snow so she can see what it's like. There's one thing with us all working from home. Can't throw a snow day. No such thing anymore. I mean, they think they might have found a vaccine. They say got that one that they say is ninety percent effective, or will have, um, vaccine will provide immunity for ninety percent of people who have it, which is good. They need eighty percent, so so they're cautiously optimistic. Of course, it's got to go through the safety checks, which are ongoing. It's a very quick way of actually working on a vaccine but um if, if things are ever going to get back to some kind of normal and it'll never be the way it was not for a very long time because even with that vaccine it's going to take a long time to roll it out to the population because they've got to do it staggered and there is some issues with the vaccine it's got to be stored at minus 80 degrees c which is extremely cool and it can only be out for about 15 minutes before it goes bad. Once it's out, you can't put it back in. So it's, uh, they've got to make sure everybody's, you know, right for it. Obviously, they're going to start with the most vulnerable, the, the elderly in care homes and the key workers that work with them, which is quite right, and doctors and nurses in hospitals and things like that. And then the, the talk is to move down the age groups. So even if they start giving it out, uh, in the what are they talking about just after or just before Christmas I can't see it being before but maybe just after Christmas I still think it's going to be next summer before they get to the rest of the population if not later just because well, they've made so many million vaccines but uh, there's only one million in the UK they've made you know because it's got to go around the whole world obviously so but then there is another vaccine that's being worked on so you never know maybe they'll get another one who knows it's just one of those things that we have to wait and see. We can be cautiously optimistic that there's a vaccine on its way, but there's no guarantee. And then you'll always get the people who won't want to take it for whatever reason. They don't believe in vaccination. They think it's bad for you. Um, bad for people. Um, and so on, but... Uh, You know, it's just one of those things, so let's have a look. We'll do this one up here. She can have very dark hair. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, dear. 
Oh, it's gone cold. I suppose it's night time, all the heating's off and everything and I always have the window open. I can't sleep with the window closed. I might close it in a bit if it gets too cold. Blonde one over here. That's the one I use for a sort of blonde. Oh, it's gold. Um, yes, all good fun. And uh, dear me, do this one. She's got little ears on for some reason. That's more of a dirty blonde, really, isn't it? I don't actually know what she's wearing. Looks like bunny ears or something. So, yeah, what I'll do. Honey yellow. Let's all go <clears throat> trying to get stuff done. I might, I'm just going to cut over that bow, I don't like it. I'm trying to just get my um, eBay up and running again. It's just because I've been too lazy, and that's all it is. Seriously, I've just been lazy. My own fault. I'm going to have to uh, try and sort it out in a bit and try and do some more. That's my phone. Look at the way her hair is falling over the chibi sign. Chibi Ice Skating Championships 2019. though isn't it? I do like them these ones. It won't be a second. Sorry about that I've also gone and got out my uh, glitter pens while I was I've stopped. Um, yeah so because once I've done this there's not really a lot more to do to be fair. Just their eyes and then it's pretty much the glitter stuff. put a little bit of colour on the, the banners across here but generally we wouldn't do a lot there we're gonna give her blue eyes I always think their eyes are so weird because if that's the pupil which I've got colour in black oh, that's a bit better that's not too bad is it there we go I'll just get the black out of the pupils I think they're a bit weird. The eyes look, but uh, that's just me. I'm actually just going to put black dots in their eyes. So they've got pupils. They don't really need a lot of el else in there. And hers there and there. And there and there. They're a bit skew whiffed. Skew eyed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave them like that. I'm going to do their eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a very, very pale colour and a dark blue first. I'll do this blue. I think it's denim, probably, yeah. And we're just going to do this little bit here. So this is a, a different banner. It's just got a different colour sign. There we 
go, that's that. That's my phone again, ignore it. And then I'm going to get uh, this, uh, is it? this light lavender, lilac colour, whatever it is. And we're just going to do it. We won't do the whole thing, we're just going to put a little bit across the top there. Just so that it's not just this stark white thing. Actually, we will do it all that colour because it'll just make it look better. Right. I will leave the ice, I think, till last because it's a great big expanse of white. But we should finish this one today. We do have, uh, have been requested to do something in Midnight Masquerade, so that will be next. Um, that will be with pencils, obviously, because I do not want to ruin the book. Um, and I am doing it in order, so it'll be whatever page is next. If it's the this book belongs to, I'll probably jump that and just do that when I've got time on my own. Go to the first main page. I want to do the book in order, like I'm trying to do with Inky, Ivy and Inky Butterfly. And I've done um, two, well, only one or two pages, but you know, you know what it's like. There's so many books to colour in, so many things to do. Okay, right. Oh, I've got to do the cat ears and the uh, this little hat here, these hats on these two next, that's next. So just put pink in there and a little bit of pink in there and there and a little bit in there. And then we'll have, that's a bit too light. Cloudy grey on this one, put that around there, around there, a little bit there. There we go. So that her ears are a different colour. And we'll get a different grey for the cat, for the bear hat. It's, oh, and I'll do his eyes in a minute as well. So, as always with the glitter, gels. I am going to do it from right to left, or from top to bottom for me, but from right to left for you, uh, regardless of what it is, just simply because that way I'm not going to be um, spilling it everywhere and from bottom to top, just because of where I'm sitting. Uh, let's give the little little chap some little black eyes. Like that. There we go. There he is. So, we'll start down the bottom. Like I said, I'm not going to do the ice until last because it's a big space. I've just got to find colours. Almost out of gold there. I do have a yellow though, don't I? A yellow gold up here somewhere. Let's have a look. There's not much left in that one either. Hmm. Use those. Like that. And then we want a silver. Want pink. And there's my silver. And maybe that ice blue. Something. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna start down here with these stars at the bottom. And we'll do them with this lovely yellowy gold. I have got another set of these pens if this one runs out. It doesn't matter. It's just it's always the gold I run out of. I have noticed that with the Link Shine, you can buy packs of 10 of one colour. Of all the colours, except for the gold. What is that about? Um, I might buy a pack of 10 reds, because reds is the other colour I use the most out of them. But, you know, if I could just get a pack of 10 gold pens, like this one's quite a nice colour. I might have to have a look to see if I can just get 10 gold glitter pens or gold glitter pens in a, a multi-pack because I use so much gold. It's my favourite colour of glitter and, and red, although it's taken me a while to find reds that I like. I have got there now. So. Well, I want to, um, you know, 
make sure it's right. You know, I'd love to get some gold. I'm just going to have to look to see if I can just get gold and fork out whatever the price is because I do use gold a lot. As you can see. <laughs> Which is more of a yellow gold. I use the gold gold on her her little tiara. There's some little hearts here, so I will need to get the red out. I haven't got the red out, but I'll get it out in a minute. Well, have I got a red up here that I can already use? I might already have one out. It won't be link shine, but it's still a nice red, I think. Have I got one here? I have. Let's use this one then. Saves me going back into the thing and delaying things even more for you. So there we go. It's actually quite a nice red. These are uh, mudder pens. They're not the best. I don't think I'd buy them again. I have got two packs and the second one, the blue, doesn't work very well. It does work, but it takes forever to get the colour out. I might have to warm it up and put it in a warm cup of water or on a hot water bottle or something like that. If I can find one. I'll be wanting one soon, it's that good getting cold. Just having a nice straight colour, no issues, just colouring in, having fun, trying to get it done, enjoying the chat. I just relaxing really it's nice it's nice to have a little relax and chat away so i have i've ordered a dvd actually from ebay it's a betty grable film now if you're young and you don't know who betty grable is that's fine betty grable was a movie star in the 40s and 50s um she was the pin-up of world war ii um very very famous top box office star for 12 years running um, married uh, a man named Harry James who was a band leader much like Artie Shaw or Glenn Miller I'm pretty sure you must probably have heard of Glenn Miller if not that's fine too um, now I love Betty Grable films and I've seen a lot of them but this is one I haven't seen I think it's from 1950 and it's a western musical called The Beautiful Blonde from Bashful Bend it's not supposed to be one of her best from what I gather and that's understandable it's not one of her best but it's all right. Uh, hopefully I will enjoy it. I'm just going to change the battery because the battery's dying and I'll be right back. Okay, that's done. Great. Battery changed. Yes, so that should be coming, I think Thursday it's coming. Um, so it's one I haven't seen, so I can't, I'm looking forward to, to watching that. Um, my favourite Betty Grable film is actually um, Meet Me After the Show which is obviously a, a show business story. I really, really like that film. And then, of course, she starred with Marilyn Monroe and Lauren Bacall in How to Marry a Millionaire, which is also very funny. Lovely little film starring them. Three wonderful girls. I was looking for the red. There it is. <laughs> you know when you're looking for something and you can not find it. I want the pink I wanted. Why is that pink there? Okay, that will be a sec. So, yeah, we'll, um, that's what I want. Oh dear. Good. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I have got loads of films to watch. I did finish watching, um, uh, My Favourite Wife which is a 40s, I think, film with Cary Grant and Irene Dunn. Um, it was meant to be remade into a film called Something's Got to Give a Marilyn Monroe, but she uh, was fired and then died before production could resume. She was rehired um, and production was set to resume in the September or October when Dean Martin returned from her co-star from a concert tour. Uh, but sadly, she died in the August, so of course it was cancelled and then it was remade as Move of Darling with Doris Day but watching the first bit of the film um, 
when they're in the courthouse it's almost word for word the same as in something's got to give because i've been a fan and a collector of marilyn for so long i've got somewhere a video cassette of all the extent footage from the film and of course they did um edit together what footage you know to make a, a almost coherent story as much as they could of the film uh, for one of the anniversaries 50th i think and it was called the final days and literally they it was about the making of something has got to give it was the second documentary about the making of something has got to give actually because one came out in 92 and in it they spliced it together and at the end of the documentary um they showed the uh spliced together footage of what was in existence and it wouldn't have been a brilliant film it's, it's not on a par with um jump for blonde seven year old especially not some like it hot but it would have been a good film it would have been a good funny sweet movie as it was with doris day when her version came out in 63 um used the same sets and um and stuff like that slightly modified but pretty much the same sets and yeah it would have been a sweet film for Marilyn to have made it just wasn't to be sadly so but yeah no, so now I've seen all three versions of that film which is great it's uh, something off my list of things I wanted to do which was to see all of them so I've got that recorded to my hard drive if I want to watch it again it's one of the ones I'll keep so some of the films I'll watch and I'll get rid of and some of them I will keep it depends on the film and it depends what I think of them um, obviously I can't keep every single film I record onto my TiVo hard drive because um, I've run out of space <laughs> so I will as I, as I watch them I do delete some of them not all of them if I like the film a lot I'll keep it to watch again if I feel like it and I probably will watch that one again at some point I don't know when but I will and I started watching the film I think it's 1952 Call Me Madam with um, Ethel Merman and Donald O'Connor's in it so I was like oh it's Donald O'Connor so yeah so I started watching that but I haven't finished it I might watch some of it tomorrow it depends if I'm on an eBay mood I'll do eBay if I'm in a colouring mood I might want to make a video Otherwise, I'll just sit there with the current book and um, colour while I'm watching. That's what I tend to do. It's either listen to an audiobook or, or watch a film or a TV programme and colour. So. so, me and Paul both got Friday off because we are going to be washing the walls in Jennifer's bedroom so we can finally get it decorated, put the heating on to get it dry. And then once that's done we will be ordering her a nice mattress duvet duvet cover and all that good stuff and sheets and she'll be in the big bed before very long i'm not kidding before christmas she will be in there so i'm just going to use this slight blue i know it wouldn't be blue but it's just to show some of the tracks on the ice like that i'm going to get my silver for her blades as you can see it's just to give it a bit of color that's not white on the ring really could have done it with silver but of course her blades are silver so then i get the pink just do these little bits here and this bit here and then we're just going to do that there it's quite good it matches her dress very well this colour of pink I thought it would so I wanted it there we go I'm actually going to put some around her here and on her straps she would have more sparkles than that on her dress there's absolutely no way that would be all that she would have 
and she'd probably have a little bit around the edges of her gloves. <laughs> you can't have enough sparkles, can you? Especially if you're ice skating. I'll do her earring. Next. Oh, I love her. She's so cute. And we'll do the jewels in her tiara. Like that. It's a nice little quick one actually, it's not going to take us that long, there's not much left that we're going to be doing on this one. And I get the Link Shine Gold for her tiara, so it's a different shade of gold to the uh, um, stars. Slightly darker. Like so. There's just a little bit left I've got to do after this. Other than that, I've got to just give the girls some nice... Uh, they've got... some of them have got their mouths open, so they just need something in their mouths, a bit of pink, just so that it looks like they're actually not freaky. Which, of course, they are. And now, if I can get that top back on, I've got two wing here. I've got the white and... I've got the clear, but I'll use the white for now to give it a bit over the top. Hopefully it'll work. Um, we're just going to go from from the bottom. We're just going to just going to go over it like this, just a little bit. Problem with white is you can't actually see it. We don't need to worry about it being even because it's ice. I just put it on where we can. So it's kind of like where it's the light's catching it, it's uh, sparkly, sparkly. Oh, there's a lot come out there. Let's uh, get that all over and spread it in nicely so that it's not. Oh dear. Oops, I glooped. Did you see me gloop? I have to leave this out to dry now. I've done that before with this, but uh, there we go. So, let's just see. I don't know if you can see it shining at all anywhere. It will when it's dry. Let's zoom out and have a look at what we've done. So, that didn't take us too long, did it? There we are. I've now finished it. This is the Skater Girl from uh, Chippy Girls 2 by April Amber. As you can see, it is just a basic colour. There's nothing major on it. Some gel pen, some Winker Stella, which makes the ice glisten slightly. Um, I'll probably be using that a lot over the next few months, a few weeks when we're doing Christmas pictures with the snow and stuff. So uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, if you want to, hit the notification bell. Uh, then you'll be notified every time the video goes up. At the moment, it's most most days. I might miss one or two days a week, but it's pretty regular. If it's not a, a colour and chat or a flip through or the weekly vlog, there might be a first impressions, it just depends, but um, yeah, I've got a load of flip throughs to put up, so if you if you like to see those, just have a look, and if not, don't worry. I'll see you on the next ones, guys, I'm rambling, I'll see you soon, bye!